A short crossing taking just a bag of possessions, these Ethiopians are seeking refuge across the Tekezi River in Sudan. They're fleeing the Tigray region where fighting between local TPLF forces and the Ethiopian military has been raging for three weeks now. They took our clothes, our home, our money. They took it all. We don't have anything. We came here practically naked, like this. It took 12 days to get here. We lived in a forest for a while. But now we have reached Sudan. Some 40,000 people have crossed over into Sudan and aid agencies believe that some 2 million people in Tigray are now in danger with no humanitarian corridor in place. Civilians then are in the firing line since the government gave a three-day warning for a military assault on the region in which they said, quote, anything could happen, prompting the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights to call for restraint. High Commissioner expresses alarm at reports of a heavy buildup of tanks and artillery around Mekele, which is the capital city of Tigray province, following the government's issuance of a 72-hour ultimatum. We've seen an Ethiopian colonel come out and say that there will be no mercy. Um, on the other side, we've had the TPLF uh, leadership come out and say that they're prepared to die. This is the kind of rhetoric that is extremely worrying um, and that may provoke, that may lead to serious violations of international humanitarian law. Amid growing international concern, the situation in Ethiopia is being raised at an informal UN Security Council meeting on Tuesday.